Hi, welcome back to this Arclinix B engine deeping. I have to look something up. Um, it's about uh, VirtualBox and it's about the ISO of Arclinix XFC OpenBox i3. So I'm gonna make a video about VirtualBox and VirtualBox is already installed, Oracle VM VirtualBox. How did I install it? We have on the github.com slash Eric Dubois, there is an Arc Linux nemesis. And in here, all these scripts are starting to run applications and particularly one that's in here, that's the virtual box. It all depends what you run. So if you find out, hey, this is the way how to put a X software on my system, then you put everything in one long script and that's this one. This one is for the Linux long-term support. So when you do Ctrl-Alt-T, you'll see here that this is the 4.20.12. This is not the long-term support. This is just the Linux kernel. You can also find it like this and start typing Linux and wait for it. So the Linux kernel, and there is also the Linux hardened and there's the Linux headers and Linux LTS and the headers for Linux and the Zen one and so many choices. So that's all explained on artlinux.com. But basically most of the people either choose the long-term support or the very, very latest one. Okay, so I've installed this script and that's already, I ran it already in one of the videos and it says, well, you need to know some things and it's all explained on ArchWiki, but once you know how to do it, well, put it in a script so you can reuse it later. So VirtualBox host modules Arch, VirtualBox, and then make sure that you update the grub, basically. And you got to reboot, best tip ever. So I just booted up, so that's okay. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to, um, well, go from there. If you have VirtualBox installed, running it like so, getting my software, it's gone Control-Alt-V, I'm gonna use Vivaldi for it. I am going to close, however, all the other tabs, close other tabs, okay, moving it to screen one, and going to look for source, forge, yeah, not Sardi, but uh, Arco Linux, and download it from there, because of a question that somebody has. So, files, accept files, Arco Linux, there is this uh, very, very last one. And there's always information. There is something um, interesting to note that if you press on this I, you get the MD5. You can always check if that the, the thing that's online and the thing that you're getting, if they have the same MD5 sum. It's actually just a command in your terminal. But let's first get it. And if the get it is too slow, there's a button and, and, knop, and oh, a button, yeah, knop is Dutch, a button. Um, so if this thing is taking like forever, let's have a look how long it's gonna take. This is very fast indeed, 31 megabytes per second. So it's super, super fast as always. Arclinux and SourceForge work well together and, but, Anyway, if there are issues, just take another one. Just take another, uh, well, country, actually. So India is here, the United States is here. So lots of things, choices you can have. I, I just, oops, I did it like this. I'm downloading it again now. Remove, well, stop first and then remove. Go on. So Czechoslovakia, Great Britain, Germany, Canada. US, 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 Kenya, okay. US, India, Vancouver, it's Canada again. Okay, Japan, Taiwan, Brazil, Brazil and France. So choose the server of where that's most, uh, that's closest to you, basically. So in the meantime, everything is okay. Everything is already downloaded almost. We could get one level up again, level up and maybe do this little thing as well. So let's get this here. No, I need to go to, by, um, by the way, it uh, doesn't matter what desktop you run. <laughs> this is on Deeping because I'm teaching Deeping. But hey, it's always think out of the box with Eric. So no, 
it, this can be done on any of the Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Manjaro, etc. etc. As long as it's Arch, it's gonna work. So download, download, download. Here it is. I have downloaded also KOS, so that's for later to experiment with it. So this guy, right mouse click, open in terminal. And what you can you do? There is this command sha something, that's one, and nd5 something. So the sum is the one that I was talking about. So this line here, and then you say Arco Linux, let him do his job. He's going to count and make a number. So this E80 in the end, if that's the same as this E80, and the beginning is the same, probably all the rest is the same as well. So you do not need to check all the letters. It quickly shows that if the last one and the first one are the same, then everything is the same. You check it, but you'll see I'm right. You can also do a SHA something. SHA 2256, I suppose, of SHA 1 sum. I don't know, I'll never do this guy. Arco Linux. Let's see if this is the one. 466, indeed, it's going to end with F466 and 5DO in the beginning, DE9969, etc. etc. It's gonna be the same. Basically, what I do when I upload, I do the same process. I check my MD5 locally, put it on SourceForge, and say, okay, it has the same MD5 or SHA, which is just another check, right? Um, so it says that what I have on my local drive is now also on SourceForge and it's exactly the same thing. So downloading from SourceForge to your local drive is going through the motions again, checking do I have exactly the same that's on SourceForge. So that's the check. It's also explained on the download page on articlelinux.info. Fine. So once you have everything downloaded, you said, okay, everything is correct. You just, uh, well, need to make a virtual box. So a new one, my way of proceeding is making a template, but I believe, Eric, you have already a template. So let's have a look. So cancel, add. The thing is, once you make a template, you can actually reuse it, but luckily for you, I have not done that. So new, I'm gonna make a template. And it's not Microsoft Windows, it's Linux, it's Arch, Linux 64 bits. Next, 16 divided by two, around eight for the host and the guest. Create, next, dynamically, template is fine. And then the hard disk, the size of the hard disk at this point in time, if it's not plasma, I'm giving it 25. Create, not done. Right mouse click, you go to settings and you think about your system. What system, what hardware do I have? The memory we've already set 50 50, right? Um, for the rest, the processor, how many cores do we have? I have eight cores, so I say four, four. I'm going to enable PAE and X because of INCSI, otherwise, you won't see anything. And all the rest is okay. Display is 50 50, more or less. And this one is a very bad one. If you leave it like this, it's gonna look horrific. And you need to have this VBox VGA active. This is for the virtual, um, the VMware, okay? So this is for VirtualBox. Enable 3D, yes, no, I do not see a lot of difference with it. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just not enable it this time and see. Or normally I would enable it. Okay, all the rest is okay, storage, audio, done then it's up to this optical drive to do its thing choose disk go to the download and you can try out other distros on your Arch Linux machine so a lot of pop-ups are coming you have the auto capture color read it and click it away click in in the black thing read it and click it away then control F for full screen the right control F do not show this message and click it away. And then we can press enter. I think I'm gonna get another one. I thought there were four messages. There you are, number four. Click away, well, read, click away. So control F is the great button to get it full screen. 
the right control and then an F for full screen. It lets you toggle between a full screen A and a small screen with bars and all that. So we're going to load this one up. There we are. Welcome to Arch Linux Installer. This is Calamaris. We trust the developers of the Calamaris package or, or application that everything will be more and more improved and there are lots of nice improvements coming our way. We'll just have to wait. So what time zone do you live in? Do you want the system language changed or not? Okay, fine, next. Or change the keyboards. I'm gonna go for my Belgian keyboard, Azerti. Next, erase the disk completely. So I'm gonna say manually. There are people who try to encrypt things and, and do it manually and all that. Uh, well, at a certain level it will work, but you'll see that sometimes you get stuck because they still need to develop some of the elements on Calamari. So just wait for the next releases. So erase disk is the normal thing to do. And then type your name, your login actually. The name of the computer. Oops, I did a QWERTY somewhere. So I really need to do it, the Belgian thing, otherwise I'm stuck with QWERTY. And I can't type Arco Linux B. That was, that's maybe something that happens with people when they type a password that has a QWERTY thing in it, something specific for the QWERTY desk um, a keyboard that you're typing your password, but actually you're on Azerti or on QWERTY, excuse me, and you're making a mistake in your uh, password because of it. All right, so everything installs fine. And uh, let's wait uh, for the, the installation here. All right, I just went to check my email and all that. So that's done, Control F, and everything is going to be back full screen. Two things, you can either do restart now here, that's one thing, and or close it while done. These days, maybe it's better to do it in a tutorial to say just done here and go to shut down. And there's a reason for it. Always educational guy, you know. There's a reason for it. If you close everything down, you can also say to the system, forget about this ISO that's in there. So you actually see the proper grub when you boot up and you do again a control F and everything becomes big. This is what you normally get on an SSD or hard disk or an NVMe these days. So we're booting up Article Linux. And since we have XFC, Openbox and i3, and I said to the system, Calamares, hey, log me in with XFC, it works. Now, if you're on Arch Linux B, do check out the pages on the Arch Linux B website, because what you do need to change if you're on Cinnamon and all that, it's explained in so many videos and tutorials, but let's include it here as well. You need to remember the word ETC Lightium, and there's lightium.conf. Another tip in this video, plain text, put it on Perl, everything black is not used, everything white is used. So if you're on Cinnamon, it's not gonna be user session XFCE, it's gonna be user session Cinnamon, and it's gonna be Eric, probably not, uh, but your username and auto login session Cinnamon. And that's that, Control S, save, and your auto login in Cinnamon. I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna save either, so everything is okay like this. So, um, well, everything just installs file. Fine, Alt N gives you a new wallpaper, Control Alt T, you see already something red down here. So you get the reflex, oh, I need to update my system. So update and so on. A lot of things, not ideal for the video, but then you just update. If you see something in here that has the word Arco Linux, and there are some stuff in Arco Linux, this guy is going to scale, this guy is going to scale, and he will say it when you download, well, when you install it, you'll see, uh, the package will say, hey, I've written everything to etc scale. If you see that, you do a scale, which is going to copy paste everything from etc scale to your home directory. If you have changed things in there, you need to copy paste it, and then you can put it back later with melt, for instance, that's the most efficient way to do it. And if that's done, you do a PKS YUA, and then you get an update of other things as well, meaning 
the things from the AOR. But in this context, you're getting everything. And this is just a virtual box. Just to show you guys, hey, you can have a virtual box on Deeping. On anything, of course. Think out of the box. This can be installed on any of our Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Manjaro, etc. As long as Arch, my scripts will work. All right. Have fun.